Hey there all, hope you're doing good. Welcome to Back to the Future the Game. Uh, one of Telltale's properties before, you know, they went bankrupt. Um, I'm going to be starting doing a series of all the... Well, not Telltale, because some are not Telltale, but like... Telltale and Square Enix, I think they're by Square Enix, type story-based, choose-your-own-adventure type games. And I'm going to go through all of them, not um, chronologically, just... Just picking and choosing as I go. Some will be in like a... Because there's more than one. Like um, Life is Strange. I'll be doing that. There's two of them. So I'll be doing those in a... In a... In a, in a specific way. Like Life is Strange Life is Strange Before the Storm. If it's a series, I'll do it chronologically. But not each. So I'll go this one. Then I'll be doing Life is Strange. And then say for instance, I'll be doing... The Game of Thrones one. And then I'll be jumping into something else. But... If it's a series, I'll be doing it chronologically. If it's not, well, I'll be just going on. But anyway, we'll start with Back to the Future, and we have a long way to go before we get anywhere else. And hopefully, by the time The Wolf Among Us uh, <laughs> 2 comes out, I will be either close to done or not. But, or I will be done. Who knows? But uh, it's a long way to go to, the, to get a, to finish this. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start this puppy up. Oh, God, that's right. There's five episodes. And then some have, like, eight episodes. Um, look at you, Minecraft Season 1. But, uh, fucking hell, though, that will be long. But, uh, these will be in one specific episodic things. Uh. But, uh, it's, uh, it's about time. <laughs> that Crash Bandicoot again. <laughs> oh! Uh, let's make sure we know the settings are properly done. Hint level, uh, nothing, because I'm not a scrub. Uh, goal pop up, you know, sound volume. Let's let's pump that up a bit. All right, all right, let's do this. New game. Uh, before we begin, would you like to see notification money as a new goal? Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> let's just. The easier this is, the better. I'm not trying to fucking pull myself through a Dark Souls type shit here. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Dr. Brown. Brown. I'm standing, standing on the top of a twin a times small. small. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is Temporal Experiment number, number one. one. Come on, I think this game is specifically like a. That like a, a continuation in from the book three. Get down. I believe. Get your seat oh, on. come on, Arnie. That's it. Whoa, 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 okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. I mean, it, even if it wasn't, Einstein. even if it was on a watch couple of seconds off, that's all right. Because I think he goes back in like a minute. So, the point would still be done. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah. It's like a fucking record. Got it. Einstein doesn't look. Ah! What are you doing, Doc? I'm going flying. Not me. The car. The car. If you ever release this footage to the public, it'd be mass chaos. If my calculations are correct, correct. And this when this baby hits 98 miles, miles per hour, hour you're gonna, you're gonna see, see some, some serious, serious shit. shit. Uh, watch this. Watch this. Miles per hour. Out of time, baby. Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1:20 a.m. It's like I'm watching the movie. <laughs> Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of Einstein, Einstein and the car is completely intact. intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? <laughs> See, Einstein has just become the world's first... Country. We send chimps to space, but we send and dogs through time. The future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Duck. Are you, are you, are you telling me you built a machine? machine? I, I, 
out of a DeLorean? The DeLorean? <laughs> the way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, it's why so good. do it with some style? You know, he's got a, he's got a point. Stainless steel construction made the first espresso. Shit me by the way! Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? Okay, Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Alright, how do you run? Sealed container? What's this? What's in the box? Ah, it's plutonium. Stop. It's plutonium. Uh, plutonium? plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? A lightning strike? Oh, wait. Not yet. <laughs> notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? capacitor. My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. Fuck it, if it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And uh, something's way off here. What the fuck? Uh, Doc? Okay. Scott. I totally forget about this. Doc, what is it? I'm forgetting everything. I've made a horrible mistake. mistake. What year did you send your dog? Dog? Oh shit. Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. <laughs> Come back! That's not what you say! When he's... I'm sorry. I don't know a ghost. Marty? Is everything okay? Oh, it was just a dream, that's right. Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Or a nightmare, if you want to be specific. It was just the past. Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. Uh, what a fucking well, you reference. better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. <laughs> yes, back to the garage. Da -da. Alright. Oh, there's a sound system that can blow up. Kid. It's about time. Oh my god, shit with the grain. Calm down. Fuck. What is that so grainy for? This is us. Oh, it was the same thing actually. Alright. The state sale, May 14th, 1986. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe <laughs> how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the... Oh, hey, Marty! Really putting beers yes. on top of it? 
Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. Nah, I guess I'm just... He went back in time like fucking three times to make your life a living hell. Remembering. Home. I miss Einstein. Yeah, so I miss the dog too. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? <laughs> uh, it's it hits him right where it hurts. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. It's a watch. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, yeah, you can't take it. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. That was Give a pretty here, shitty, shoddy choice, to be honest. Well, well, look at what we have. That would belong to Marty more than it would belong it's to like you. It's plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your catheter. business. Doc asked me Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> yeah. The time machine planes in the hand of this dickhead. Alright, sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, turn hints off. You're selling the guitar? Are you kidding? Hey, Dad. Wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Yeah, you fucking better, dog. Now this shit. Let's make some noise. Gotta blast your fucking eardrums out. How many times you want to do this? forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies it may not look like much but it packs a wallop, a wallop. here Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Yeah, I don't think he would uh, tolerate that you talk about something like that. Done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, gosh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Just one strum and we're Man, good to go. Man, the kids have ruined rock and roll. Okay, sure. Just leaves. <laughs> so fucking out of here. He run. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Yeah. He's just hiding from his creditors. Yeah, that's where he's gone. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? 
Yeah? Yeah, fuck then off, dog. how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. I mean, he's a dick, but he's got a point. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Yeah, right. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's that just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his... I mean... Maybe you should try oh, to find some things taxes. to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Yeah, I'm trying About to About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe yeah, me, I can You wouldn't be able to freaking handle so him if it wasn't for, for your son. So it looks at... I what the fuck can. is going Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Uh -huh. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. No, don't intervene, dog. Ah, uh, let's blast this bitch back to the Stone Age where he came from. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> rock on, Biff. Uh, rock on. Oh, ticket. shit. <sighs> Puzzles. Uh, Doc, where are you? <gasps> it's him. He's outside. 6 4, 16, 46. Didn't fix the uh, freezing problem, huh? Doc? Oof, 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 oof. Okay, open the door. Suspense is somewhat killing me. Ah, oh, it's Einstein. Where do you come from? He's like. Boy? I'm tired of this fucking driving. I'm tired of going through time. I just want to take a shit in the lawn. Hidden take. Did it say hidden? Oh, handhold. I was going to say, it's not hidden by any means. <laughs> Why are you afraid? Of course. Of automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Of course, there's noise in here. In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, <laughs> there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or now. Uh, Maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, yes. I you in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified. <laughs> he knew you were going to ask that. Last time departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, hit it again. Crap. See if that works. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Yeah, grab the shoe. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time. Yes, I know. Once I know when to look for Doc. Okay, well, this seems to be going.
After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. I don't think so. What do I do? Okay. What do I have to do? Thanks, game. <laughs> what do you know about this shoe, Aini? Great Scott! I think he's onto he's something. something. Great Scott! Of school or something to go to? I mean, last time I checked, you're in high school, so. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Ainy? How does he still remember that smell? Starbase Zero. I hope Jimmy's fixed the wild gunman machine. I guess there's time for a quick game. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, time inherently doesn't move if you know how to control it, so you can just go okay. in if you want. Now I'm ready. Oh, yeah, I know. Calm down, game. He's having a hard time here. I ah! see you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! Okay. <laughs> Jesus A1 Christ. liquor. I like the new bars Mr. Figgins put on the windows. Very secure. <laughs> yes, yeah, doesn't feel like anyone's ever broken in before. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Oh. Oh. Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? That's something probably he could have done, actually. That that feels about right. No! Go to the fucking buzzer. E. Strickland. Why is his other names blurred out? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Yes, Get hooligans. Now. Scat! Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Here, have your shoe back. A Seems shoe? to be yours. Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! <gasps> she, she, fuck it, she's gone! <laughs> A crockety bu- uh, uh. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is this kid holding a shoe for? I think you gotta stay outside. Yeah. Sorry, Einstein. I mean, I'm pretty sure the apartment won't even let dogs in anyway. That dog can take care of himself. Sure. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. You know what? That doesn't I'm sound that bad. sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten, ten people, people in this in city, city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. I don't think I will. I think I'll just take your word for it, honestly. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Yep. She's got scoliosis or some shit. She's fucking... Her back's gone. Hey, Where? Hey, you kids! Put out those cigarettes! 
you know what? I'll advocate for that. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! Jack and Diane. I know what you're doing behind that tree! Stop! Yes? <laughs> yes? When did you lose your shoe? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, huh. what a nosy Nelly! No one likes it busy. He's just asking what ye what time you lost the oh, shoe. Fine, let me think about it. Uh Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <sighs> when was it? Oh yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? It was the Don't act so stuff. surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. I'm pretty sure Sin has been here since forever. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on lower things. Is that? Yeah, right. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town. Why do they make alcohol illegal? Quaked in that scene, not, not the alcohol is the best thing in the world, but like, why? I still don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what, what, what fucking worn alcohol? So where was it? That speakeasy that I mean, the dr war on drugs are still going. That was some ages ago. But then again, some drugs should have been war. Leg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a uh, student of history. Ones that can and kill lives. Student of ones. history, my Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers can give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square, right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. What do you mean disgusting? So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Really? Whoa. The following year, as I recall. But, okay. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the <laughs> like other text Telegraph ever it, but published. Just, like Get speeding out. past what every she was single saying. issue from 1871 to the present. 71. No, anyway, pass me that cigarette. You'll find it in oh yeah. Like Jesus. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. No, that's right. It's not. Yeah, it's I not probably today. wrote it myself. It's 1986. Internet's been really I was quite most prevalent a thing ever, ever. Back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. I didn't mean to hit that up. Don't let me keep you from your business. Yeah, okay, who's she on? You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Oh, bat. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously water? organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Don't have jam on my fingers, uh, but alright. Thanks for being a prick. Where's the cats? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who this handles seems right. the food. This seems all right. Old cat lady, he's angry at everyone. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never oh. could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. 
Oh, is that the principal system? Man, she keeps it hot in here. Why would you turn down? This is her house. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Oh, the radiator sounds like the kettle. Quick, 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 go, go, go! Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice, nice picture. picture. Wrong newspaper, dog. That's for you in 1986. Five. 1955. Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. All right, Einstein Whoa. bought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. I'd say 1958 or something. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Well, when did the prohibition happen? Fucking go from there. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Provoked. Well, fuck what I do then? Maybe not. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a... Oh my god, what the fuck do you need then, dog? Fuck off! The water still hasn't come to a boil. Wait till she sits down, hit the radiator again, get the binoculars, look for the building, get the date, find it in the newspaper. All steps to find There's Doc Brown. Surely the water's boiling by now. You're just gonna—I'm just straining this woman's back even more. She's getting up and down, up and down. All right, let's go, let's go. go, go, go. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Oh, she did not need to have the water for that. 1932. What are you buying? Oh my god. Why is it wrapped? Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Heh <laughs> heh. That was actually funny. <laughs> This radio is on floor. Surely the water's boiling by now. She was in that fucking for the first time. She was in there forever. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled Carl from Sagan. His... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. 31. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. I'd get out of there right Little now, are you? Papers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! That's how people Help! express emotions. Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Something tells me you're not. No, I accidentally knocked over papers. Calm down. Is that how people dressed in 1931? I feel like you're going back into the fucking Wild West, dog. Marty! 
Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? Yes. I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away from uh, yeah, yeah. You barely know I uh, uh. Fucking hell. Alright. Yep, Ready let's to go. go, Einstein? This dog does not want to time travel again. Time circuits. It's on. on. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Uh, fluxy. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay. If Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, June 13th. 1931, I'll just show up the day before. Why don't you show up a couple days out. before? I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. That thing looks a little bit sketchy, if you ask me. New Valley, next four exits. Get that shit going! <laughs> that dog! Jesus! I'm <laughs> car just gonna blow up and smash it. There we go! Back in time. Whoa, whoa! It's the mob! Go right in between a car chase. Shooting the fucking time machine. The dog is hit. Ah, oh, yes, that's the car of the future. Oh, oh what a reference. That's what they did in the first movie. <laughs> Two miles, lovely. Which I think we'll do about four kilometers. Which isn't the worst, but I mean, still at least like a 40 minute walk, half an hour. Back in time. Jesus, the dog's fucking energetic to go, isn't he? He's off. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? By 1931. That's like 50 years. He only went, he only went back to 30 last time. Welcome to the 30s. Oh shit! Bitch always got hit by a tram! She didn't even care too, she's like, yep, yeah, if it happens, it happens. Go to the police station. Does no one ever look where they're going in like the past? Like, come on people. You time traveled how many times now? Ah, uh, she looks familiar. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. Uh, well, we I found out it, yeah. Pass. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? The police were also in on it. If you can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still uh, want to start streets, walking towards me? No doubt me? plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Yeah. 
Tell him, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? Never mind. I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Sonic Crocker Heart. <laughs> Marco Color. Uh... Sonny Crockett. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Really? You didn't notice that, dog? She was, said she was a reporter. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Oh, God, she's a bitch in the past. I gotta future. find Doc. Oh, present for him. What's that past for me? All right, how do you run? Come on. No, can't run. Cool. I guess yeah, he doesn't the speakeasy burn down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? He got mixed up in a Syrian war. I think it was Syrian, at least. He stole plutonium from the dickheads. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hold on. Bank of it. Is that Bank of Italy? James? What does that say? No, Frankenstein, the man who made a monster. That's Frankenstein. Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for, for the salvation. salvation. Doc! Look at him. What are you doing here? Isn't he married with Save kids? For me, Doc. The wife would come and save him. Kid? When? May 14th, 1986. 1986. The automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. Yeah, he is married. That's morning. Morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about <laughs> that. But it's so <laughs> Einstein's in the background, he's just sitting by a tree. He's like, yeah, you're catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. I Fucking hell, what an image that is. I'm gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they do that? Yes, they did. Because you blew up the speakeasy. Down there, speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Let's go back in time. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering. He's, he is right. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I miss that. Miss that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Sure. Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, yeah. don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard Wait, from the patent he's 17 in 1931. should be nearly complete. So 1955, he'd be... No, no, I said nearly complete. 37. Can I help you finish? Plus four. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931. 41. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to 1931 self to build a rocket Yeah, so he's 74 by 1985. Precisely. Yeah, he looks alright for 74. 
I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the Flush no, Ambassador for no, another 24 24. years. Then what am I supposed to... Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Don't talking to yourself cause, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go with my younger self into finishing the prototype. Yeah, if you already invented it, if you already made the idea... Okay, well, let's say I go along with this crazy it's idea. It's not really changing Where can anything. I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. You already did. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm Funny. not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. All right, to the soup kitchen. This fucking story. If it's a bird with a ladle, I presume, or a spoon. Go in the door, please. Thank you. This is one person drinking, uh, eat, sorry, eating soup. Drinking soup. McFly! Biff? Oh my god. Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannin to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? I mean, so yeah, I do, but... Would you? Uh, oh, This whole no, family's a bunch of Of course of not, kid. Except for... All right. That's Marty. better. What are you looking at, punk? His dad. Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? Well, what are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run, run back, back to the, to safe, the safe house. house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Oh. Leave his hat alone. Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. How can you guys not add two plus two? I don't know if he's being serious or being a dickhead. <clears throat> okay. Nope. Does not he? Hey, um, uh, never, never mind. mind. What did you, yeah, what did you have to say to him, anyway? I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Yeah, that's why. Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the street. Cheery. Oh, very cheery. <sighs> sure. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. God, that's a fucking old phone. Jesus. Screw that shit. Brown resident. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? Who may I say is calling? The courthouse? No Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Let me just fucking walk there. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Okay. Fucking back and forth, back and forth. Alright. 
Now to go ask what the plan is, because I forget. Oh, nope. Oh, circles to run. Okay, cool. Stack! Morty! Have you found my younger self yet? Alrighty. Don't. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that! That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986 after we save from a grisly death, death in 1931. Oh my god. So, according to the British guy on the phone, you're working at the courthouse. Of course. In the summer of 31, my father made me work as a junior clerk. It doesn't sound like any fun. I hated every minute of it. My father was, oh, strict. And then Whoa, boy, you was head over to the courthouse right away and introduce yourself to me. What does a law clerk do anyway? Horrible paper shuffling task, but that's Ugh. not important. Get yourself to the courthouse and find me. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. <laughs> uh, but you didn't get hanged. You got fucking shot to death, though. So, if you got hanged, then it would be poor choice of words. Get all across the street, dog. You gotta fucking change the way you're moving every time he changes the camera. Hello, Einstein. I got a bolt to the courthouse. Jesus, he's gone. Oh! Don't touch those! These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Pop yeah, that's James Allen Taylor. Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm, um, Sonny Crockett. I'm at Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Sure you do. Naturally, H2K multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than expectation value of H, right? Now, what am I missing? Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. You're a dick. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. You're talking shit. You know it. Do we take H step? Oh, let's start. Force equals mass times acceleration, of course. That's Come on, wait up a minute. You Stop again? walking. Can't you see I'm busy? See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So with your patent Tell me company. something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bones connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. So you're with the patent company or some shit. Come on, Doc. Uh, damn it. Uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Crockett, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like yeah, sure. masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad okay. tell you that? Yeah. Every morning. So, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. 9 and 9? Jesus. But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I the am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what D equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong! How about I'm right, 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 and you just tell me the drill? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett! Oh my god! 
How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Yeah, he is. My father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. It's such a dark secret. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have what? no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. What the fuck is that? Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! You're an ass. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett! Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. And uh, about your. Don't say it. Okay. Let's just follow where he's going then. See how that works. Hello? No solicitors! <laughs> Alright, let's go ask for some help. Uh, yeah. Fuck. The camera keeps changing! Fuck! There we go. You're insufferable as a plan. younger guy. Well, I met your younger self. Great! And I gotta say, you're kind of uptight. What? You won't even talk to me. I find that hard to believe. Tell me what happened. <sighs> I tried asking him about your rock. Oh, there he goes back in the wall. He's not a scientist. In the courthouse. What? What? Oh, father. What's he got to do with this? In the 1930s, yeah, I was still definitely afraid of my father discovering the truth about my scientific predilections. So I carefully kept them under wraps, practicing science at odd hours, away from his prying eyes. That sucks. It sucked a lot. Fortunately, I eventually stood up to him. But right now, my younger self probably thinks you've been sent by my father to check up on me. What do I do to convince Teen Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm uh, not sure. Thanks. Why does your really young helpful. mutter all the time? Muttering? Why would I be muttering? I, I, I never mutter unless... Uh... The Hill Valley Expo! You never mutter? Expo? Yes. yes. The Expo! How could I sure. have forgotten? In a few months, the younger me will put on a demonstration at the Hill Valley Exposition. My first public foray into the world of science. Everyone in town will be there, including a number of noted inventors who shaped my career. So, it was a big success? No. Oh, it was a miserable failure, but it was a spectacularly miserable failure. One which marked my transition from an amateur garage scientist into a professional seeker of truth. What does this expo have to do with you muttering? Why does he keep going back and forth? When I was younger, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. No doubt my younger self is working on some impossible problem in an attempt to work off cerebral steam in the weeks before the exposition. What was I muttering about? I don't know. Uh, H to the something with an inverse of something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. Probably. You know, your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. It's a facade, I assure you. I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. All right. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't forget we're on a bit of a deadline here. 
Yeah, <laughs> deadline. Oh, you can make a joke, but if I, it's a bit too far. Dick. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Damn it. Uh, about Don't your. Say it. For fuck's sake. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. It's not letting out of sight, it's just... I fucking have no clue. Think H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, I, oh. Hi. Um, I wasn't doing anything. Bye bye. Or do we take H to stand for permitting a lineup? Fucking hell, come on. Chop, chop, dog. Chop, chop. Doc! So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think! H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good know. grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering, are you muttering about? about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. But won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be Sorry, fine. what? What was H again? The Hamiltonian operator. Got it. Hang in there, Doc. Fucking what? It's insane. Where'd you go? What's up, dog? I don't need to go in there anymore. Okay. Then where is he? <laughs> oh, he's right there. Now if H stands for Fucking controls. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal, it's a federal crime, crime, Mr. Mr. Crockett. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the implication value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? The leg bone's connected to the thigh bone. That's where. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? From the You're patent from the patent office. Yes. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Not 
Ah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Does it fly Fuck to the you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to where you get the alcohol you need. Shh. It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? Oh, the shit. My grandpa? <gasps> Shh. It's Kid Tannen. <laughs> hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Does that mean a body bag? Really thinking it's a body bag. Do a lot of people in Chicago die? Like... <laughs> the hell matches? You, you got kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. Get out of here. You. Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. How about a bit of both? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. No, you don't. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. He's my employee. He's very busy today. Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Can I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoe shine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Really? Really? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. You're an asshole. yourself out. Just grab the hat and run. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Well, I made an enemy within three seconds, so that's about right. <laughs> Game didn't know how to handle two people bumping into each other. It's got tricks! Oh, shit, that fucking train. This train's knocking everyone over today. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! And you are a monkey. Hey! Now! Fix me up! He's getting in for his shoes, though. But it's a nice you learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. <laughs> the streak. Oh, all right. My grandpa may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. Yep, yep, yep. Fucking fly. I'm 
not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. What's transients? What are transients? Alright, where am I going? Where did he go? Fucking hell. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. <laughs> You're an idiot. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what Spitch. got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, sure. I found someone to keep him distracted. <laughs> Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. <laughs> I know a place where the Stay Silver Society can meet. Oh? Where? In the park. The Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your Sundays. friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to Why sit. did I do that? You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the <laughs> kitchen, and I deliver them what? hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track Xavier of Xavier Ranch it's a for very Unwanted big job. Children. Yes, that is not a reference at all. Xavier's Home for Gifted Children. Mm, yes, okay. I got a book. Game's just chatting shit oh, at this point now. Where? <laughs> Game's chatting shit at this point. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Oh, there's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. And all he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Yes, we've discovered that have about 12, 15 minutes ago. We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. <laughs> Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket power drill? Ah, that be journey to the center of the earth by Jules Verne. It was Fair enough. a revelation. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. What we figured. If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Yeah, how about you save it for another 24 years? We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't... Sonny Crockett! That's yeah. it. You got me. Yo, Einstein, we need to track this dog. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. 
Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? <laughs> Is he even sniffing it? What's going on there? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. <laughs> He's hiding. Oh, shit, what's happening? What's going on? These fucking apartments I gotta go to. Huh. Deja vu. <laughs> yes. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll Bro. take it from here. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Fuck, I don't know. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the account and weekly. You don't fucking tell them this is. We'll come out if we knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. So uh, uh, some uh, other the boss. time. Dick. Pussy bitch. We're just resetting this till we get a row? Okay. What now? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Sure. Why not? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. No, I know. I'm just trying to get the fucking hat out of my inventory. Someone's playing tricks on me. Nope, nope, I've clicked it. Okay. Let's see this one more time. I easily getting pissed what off. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. You're an asshole. God, I hate you. He's such a bitch. We'll take it from here. Fucking eyelash is in my eyes. What now? I don't know what now. Fuck you. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. No, 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 no. Fucking hell. Just come down! What now? What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. I have to hand the subpoena to Arthur, not throw it. Fine. It's me again. Please come down. Why? My family got something for you. We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the account. No, it was the other one. I didn't do the last come one. Out if we knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm interested. <laughs> and besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. You're Sorry. an asshole. Some other time. Oh, shut up. I get it. Just skip that bit. We'll I take don't it from talk here. to the dog. Oh, all right. All right, this is frustrating. What now? <laughs> He's done this like eight times. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. 
then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till oh, he's a fucking, tells me I can leave. He's a bat. He's Sorry. a boss when it comes to this Some shit. Other like, time. He'll talk back to these guys, but not. Oh fuck! Fuck's sake! Far out! Forget it! Don't care! I'll just break into his house. Need any help? Yes. Um, never mind. Let's fucking break in. Who cares? It's time travel, remember? You're not getting in trouble. Dogs <laughs> fucking out of there. You need to record him saying it, don't you? Oh, for the love of God. Well, well, look who's back! They, they say rats, rats always, always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Do they? Uh, get him, matches. Matches. The fuck happened? I just wanted to record him. I didn't want to go through a run race. Oh, this is so confusing. Damn, I can't get up there. Come down from there, you son of. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and face the music! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's not what I wanted to do, but okay. You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell him. Einstein! Sick him! Go, boy! Rabies his ass. Yes! Get away from me, you crazy nut. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scream. Oh, I mean, he's a mobster, but at least he won't kick a dog. I mean, he tried to. Hey! Where'd he go? Ooh, you guys go? You let him get away, idiot! <laughs> Aww. This poor guy. Alright, let's. Oh, we gotta go, come on. Let's go subpoena his ass. Fucking hell. Don't care about fucking roads, apparently. Alright. What now? What now? What? Oh my god. What now? Uh, what now? Uh, okay. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! You gotta be a, some, some uh, kind of special idiot. Where's Kid? Maybe this fucking subpoena dog. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? <laughs> Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! What? Get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served- <laughs> I've got it. Report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid, arty, holy cats, what am I gonna do? Holy cats. I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That was not really smooth, that was it, bud. Oh. Oh, I, I hate doing stuff like that. But I won't have to much longer. 
No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. That's right, you have a fucking rocket to build, don't you? We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand the teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. What are you doing, Joe? Hang in there, Doc. How the fuck am I supposed to get alcohol? Well, the soup kitchen's on the new management. Let's see if we can fucking find a way through here. There we go. Cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh... Soup. Soup? 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 Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the... special soup. Right. Special. Idiots. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, suck shit. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. All right. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Jesus Christ, pulls that fucking gun like no tomorrow. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. Could you move them out of the way? Not a chance. I could throw out my back. You don't seem like you have much of a back uh, to throw out. Excuse me. Yeah? Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Yes? Like, that wasn't... Okay. Chill with the fucking throwing. Ugh. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... scroll a ribolita? I was gonna yeah. say old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? 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 Uh, I I just think you could use a little uh, color. Color. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck you, Paprika. Fuck it. Kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I 
I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Fine then, whatever. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Was huddle not a word? Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, alcohol. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. No, I know that. Right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I like how the, the, the barrels don't really move. I mean, they do, but compared to the thing, it's not actually moving. Excuse me. You talking to me? No, I'm talking to the fucking barrels behind you, dog. I don't care about this fucking soup! Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Salt? Salt? What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Okay, well, specifically, I have to do that then, but, uh, he grabbed the same, that's Paprika, dickhead. Oi, no, yep, okay. He's just putting Paprika in. That's alright. <clears throat> He's focused on making okay. soup. Okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. What do I fucking do? How about that? There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. I don't fucking do it. I don't know. Shit, this is annoying. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Well, thank you. <clears throat> what is it, kid? So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean, used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing Your face food has very to the needy polygons. and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor? What? What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the the 
Just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. Mind if I look around a bit? No. You come up with a fucking any ideas, but it's bad enough for this. <laughs> Walk outside and stay outside. Don't come back. No way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. <laughs> He's right next to you. Your arm is in him. Eureka! He's got it. <laughs> Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right, that might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep I'll keep watching. God. Whatever. <clears throat> What is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. Hit it. Hit <laughs> it. Yeah, use the tape recorder. Good work. Fucking hell. Ah, Miss Strickland. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley were yes. so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the is, boss you said hello. That is not the normal I'll soup. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. Why did I open the door? Was that so the barrels would rebound off it, or...? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin. Bitch, you took a barrel of alcohol. You ain't staying no sober. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Red Cross Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's the Mario start Brothers. Eager. I'd write the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The orphanage! They've already got all the soup they can handle. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on Which one? Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? 
the Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Ah, sorry, what? Wait there! Sonny! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? Just, just go with the plan! Can't just let strangers invade my parents' house? What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But nothing. It's still impossible. Just, uh... Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! That's extortion. That's... that's bribing. That's a bit too much. Alright. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena right. and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! <sighs> Alright. We are on our way to the lab. Drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits- Standing in the middle of the street! You wanna- yeah, get on the sidewalk. Listen, he will not recognize you. You two don't look. There's like what, 50 you years sure between? Work? Like your hair's different. Don't your face might be a bit different. Nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, what? Hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be no, at he a means... steady temperature okay. of 623 this... degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. You can see the Any questions? light like stopping. <sighs> can you repeat that in English? Uh... Emmett, why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him. Attend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! Fuck, father. I'm doing a oh, goddamn... Father me, child! Okay, so we started over Ooh, here. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Don't you release me from your unattainable expectations! Release. Let's make 
come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Yes. Eating you, Father, but I wish you would go on a diet. <laughs> Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Quarter? Get back here! <laughs> You're going to pressuring me to be something. Pressure, I pressure. Invented fire pop. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. You have a release valve on your mouth somewhere. I gotta make sure I click the right one because these are going everywhere. But... struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? I mean, he did get struck by lightning. You go feed the ducks, father. Just moving around, fucking hitting switches, uh, cranking shit. Halfway there. Half. Oh, come on. Damn it. Keep up the good work. Ah, uh, only halfway. A room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Pressure. You don't know anything about pressure. Learn for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Wrongs have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark. I don't know. What do you mean by bladders, dog? What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father. Don't you see this is eating me up inside? Mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Sunday! Listen to what he says. Spark not what his dad says. Burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hind quarters? Nothing but overblown bags of gas. Mother, why don't you ever gas? Gas. Maybe your burning passion, father, but it is not mine. Fucking hell! Bellowing like this. Yeah, stop. Shut up. Must you always scatter a condescension my way? I'm trying to spin this argument around to my failings. Almost seventy-five percent. All right. One more to go. Here we go. Father! You strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Current, current. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. One great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Okay, no. Back forth, back forth. But overblown bags of gas. I honor your wishes. You treat me like common bacteria! Did you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air! There, I said it! Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Vent, vent. This is eating me up inside. Maybe I can just get struck by lightning! Jesus, dog, calm down! Getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Fucking. I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Woo. Jesus. So I fucking throw words at left, front, okay. center. I don't know what your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. Oh. Listen, I did it. No, I did it right. Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and I can. I can take it and go. Don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. 
So tell me, Sonny, when can I expect to hear back from the patent office? Um... Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back you to that. you. I promise. No, that's, that's what you do. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor. He is distraught. He, he's just gone. Wait! Don't stop him. Keep the throttle at about eight. <laughs> Legend. All right. Now I'm off to fucking. Save his older self from getting killed in a prison cell. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Where is he? Come on, start. Don't tell me I went through all that shit. Just for him to be Daddy? gone. You're too late. Too late. The doc's not supposed to be. Are you kidding? They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Yep. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? This is a fucking bike, dog. There's no way Edna's bike is gonna be fast enough to catch up with that paddy wagon. Or is there? You attach the rocket to the bike. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this one piece. You better make a rocket bike. This is not gonna work. No, it would fly off. You can't tie. Okay. This is gonna kill you. This would. All right, I'm coming, Doc. You ET, are you? Yeah, seventeen cents. Holy shit! Seventeen cents. That's insane. I mean, not really. If you think about it, they got paid way less back then. Oh! There goes the basket. You're still in danger, Doc. We've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind. Never mind. Get me out of here. I will talk later. That's the whole plan, Dick. I need the key. Or I can just use an antenna for a lock. I 
I need the tase. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I supposed to get one? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Really, really helpful there. What the fuck? No! It actually let me choose it. Go oh, fucking damn it. Yes. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Times I've gone fucking back. It's a tire iron. Why on really? I want to whack that with a tire iron. Fucking hell. Would I want to whack that with a tire iron? I don't know. No. Just fuck it. Why on earth would I want to whack that with no! a tire iron? No! Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Is there a way to click it? Or, like, come on! Really? Yeah. Haven't fucking tried that, have I? Is there a way? Because if I click back... Yeah. Fucking use... WHERE IS HE FUCKING TAKING HIM?! Get back now. Really? 
really. Really. You have the keys, but you decide to fucking... Stand back, Doc! What's happening down there? How you doing, Doc? I like it in there. Let's say the hubcap if that would do any good. Throw it, don't look at it, throw it. Ow! Son of a bitch! Lucky he's such a bad shot, huh? Better get that gun before our luck runs out! Antenna. I got the gun. What now? No, I know. I. Oh, fuck it. If you keep doing that shit. I would never have guessed. <laughs> Literally, shit. Get here with me, new adult. That would hurt like no tomorrow. That would just no. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Not much. That's fixed. You know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. What? So, what do we do now? now Get back. back. 1986, before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, he has bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Uh. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, it's to be continued. Oh, that is just... That was annoying. The controls weren't working properly. What's what's happening next time? <gasps> ah, uh, Shit! Happening. I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over! What the fuck Kid Tannen says it's over! Whoa! Get Tannen. Ah. Formed by Christopher Lord. Yeah, there he is, James Huntell. Anyway, we'll leave that there. Oh. That was, that was fun, to jump back into this and go back to the future, or actually back to the past, and then to the future. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in Get Tanner next time. Peace.